Crews are still at the scene of a massive fire which destroyed a warehouse in Melbourne's outer southeast overnight. This is 7 News with Peter Mitchell. Good evening. First, one of the biggest factory blazes in Melbourne's recent history has caused more than $30 million damage at a Dandenong South transport business. Just before 9pm on the 17th of Jan 2007, Hallam Brigade were paged the report of a structure fire in Quantum Close, Dandenong South. The pumper responded with three crew on board and smoke and flames became visible in the area while en route. Fire Officer Troy Thornton called for support from Dandenong as flames were showing on the warehouse of DTM Business Logistics and smears were used while sizing up the job. With strong winds and onlookers hampering the job, additional resources were called in. Dandenong platform set up initially on the east side to protect the main office and the area was quickly sectorised to protect exposures and to strategise resource placements. The wind was driving the fire northwest towards a local power substation and the Spuds are Us factory. The warehouse contained many items including large quantities of motor oils and automotive chemicals which were alight and creating a running oil fire towards stormwater drains. An IMT was established as the fire grew in size and vehicles were continuously relocated to maximise their efficiency. Walls were becoming unstable and ground crews struggled with hose lines in the gusty wind. Water supplies were being taxed so a relay of pumpers was set up from Abbott's Road. Additional foam supplies were brought in as crews tried to save a large quantity of trucks in their compound. Total resources used in the job were 11 brigades, 21 firefighting appliances and around 120 personnel. The support agencies were police, power and gas utility companies, water authorities, work cover, the council and EPA. A mini tornado phenomenon occurred at the northwest corner of the premises and that was at the junction of the running oil fire and the air updraft from stormwater drains. Just before midnight an under control word back was broadcast and a structure fire stop was placed at 1.52 a.m. Although the warehouse, trucks and stock were lost to a value of 30 million dollars, all office contents were saved and only minimal damage to other exposures. 100 foot flame height through the warehouse complex and quite a lot of radiant heat, uh, a lot of noise, 44 gallon drums popping through the ceiling of the warehouse. We had the power company here fairly early so they were able to get the power off which uh, helped us a lot because uh, believe me when a substation goes up it's uh, yeah it adds to the problem significantly. Troy Thornton said his years of training and learnings were really paid off on the night. He said his own crews and all those involved just got on with their tasks despite constant changes and reconfigurations but no firefighter injuries were recorded.